Hello everybody, Tom Bruce from Big Sky Internet Design with you today. Today we're going to be talking about tips for horse associations and their websites. First thing we need to consider is what is really the purpose of a website for your association. This is something that people kind of don't think about too much. You know, back in the day, we've been doing these for a lot of years. Back then, it didn't have to be particularly fancy. Uh, didn't need to worry about it working on a phone, for example. Might have some pretty limited content, show schedule, maybe the results, a few pictures, these types of things. But there are two very important aspects of these horse association websites that I'm going to talk about today. I'm not going to talk about appearance very much, but just these two critical things. So the very first purpose of your web website should be to serve your membership. So why is that important? Well, you know, you may not even consider that competition can be an issue. Now it's very critical to serve your membership since there are so many other associations out there, depending on your area of the country, perhaps, the members can choose to go to. They can go on the road, go to different associations. So it's very important to keep track of those members, keep them happy, keep them wanting to come back. So what are members really looking for an association website? Well, first off is communication and timely information communication, whether it show schedule changes, uh, it could be membership meetings coming up, perhaps a member has gotten hurt and you're doing a fundraiser, these types of things. And lastly, on that note, you want to be sure to keep that updated. Nothing worse than going to a website and seeing announcements from three months ago that are no longer uh, applicable. Next are kind of the obvious things. The show schedule should be easy to find, easy to use. Same goes with the results, and those results should be updated as quickly as possible after the horse show. As with the standings, those should be updated as quickly after the horse shows as well, so members can log in and see exactly where they stand compared to their friends. Easy to use online membership forms with payment options. Same goes with easy to use online show entry forms, stall forms, RV forms, and those types of things with payment options. When I say payment options, often we will build these forms with the option to pay with a check at the show or pay with a credit card right then. Photo galleries, you know, people love to see themselves in a little slice of time, whether it's the winner's photos, it could be candids, it could be, you know, the kids screwing around in the background, all that's so much fun. Social media activity is critical to serve your members. Keep that Facebook page updated. And then easy to find contact information, especially day of the show. Going back to your website, serve your sponsors. Now, well, especially now, it's really time to think about giving value to your sponsors. And that, of course, is assuming you have sponsorships on your website. Some still don't. But you think about whose sponsors are on your website. Most often, they are the more generous members that are like, yeah, I'll give you 500 bucks, put my logo on your website. But you want, if you can give those sponsors more value, not only will you get more sponsors, but you can probably get more money from those sponsors as well. So first off, you need to have good exposure for them. And often what we'll do on, on our websites is we'll create uh, banners on or sliding, scrolling banners on both the header or the footer of the website, have those logos on there. If you click on that, they will either go to the company's website on their own or ideally to a sponsor page that shows all of the sponsors that you have. Uh, and if they're in a, perhaps you have tiers of sponsorship, maybe you don't, you wanna have that logo, that company's name, some brief information about it, and then the URL to that company's website. And something else that you can do that many associations don't do is you can offer individual pages for sponsorship. So think about the pages that get the most traffic. You know, you got your calendar, standings page, results page, that photo galleries page. These are the ones that people are going to visit most often. And if you can sell that sponsorship on those pages, then you're going to be getting more money. And the best part about that is, Next season, chances are you'll be able to even get more money because if Bob's tractors is on there and Sally wants to have her company up on there instead, you could even have a bidding war. It's all about name recognition. So that's really will help your sponsors drive, help you drive value to your sponsors. So I didn't really talk about the appearance of the website. It kind of goes without saying, but 
What I will say is the site should be dynamic and also reflect your association's personality. You know, all associations have their own personality based on location of the country, uh, the breed that they're showing or the discipline that they are, the people there. They're, everyone is different. So you want to make sure that your association reflects that, that personality. And lastly, remember, have some fun. I mean, that's why people are at these shows and are paying you money to be their member. They want to have fun. Well, that's it for today. If you want to get some help with your association website, be sure to check out ours, and we can probably help you with it. Thank you so much.